at 5.30, transportation trouble. More than a month we've been tracking issues Rhode Islanders have faced with MTM, the state's new non-emergency medical transportation vendor. And tonight, Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Campbell has a one-on-one -on -one interview with the company's CEO. Susan? Elena Mastia tells me the system is stable, but she says there's plenty of room for improvement. Elena Mathia isn't proud of her company's launch in Rhode Island. We need to rebuild trust. But the MTM CEO says she is proud of a quick turnaround. Last week, I get through the call center in under 20 seconds, speed to answer. Uh, transportation has improved greatly. Complaints with transportation are now less than 1% of all trips booked. On a typical day, MTM handles about 5,000 rides in Rhode Island. That means about 50 trips a day come with a complaint. We have more work to do. Was this your most challenging rollout? I would say it's been, yes, one of the most challenging rollouts we've had to date. Since MTM launched January 1st, more than 1,000 people like Diane, Raymond, and Melanie have reported late rides or no shows. It pains me to hear those things. Were you ready to launch? You know, in hindsight, you know, I think you can say, no, we weren't. But I think going into it, we're, we're accustomed to working with large transportation buyers that have their own dispatch and technology, and we're just really interfacing with them. In Rhode Island, it's different. MTM works with 86 transportation providers. Some only have a few vehicles in their fleet. Sometimes a transportation provider might take more trips than they can really handle, or they might have a driver call out sick, or they could just get behind in their daily routes. And so now we're really focused on holding transportation providers accountable. Mathia says extra staff will also improve service. We will get there. Because she knows thousands of people are relying on these rides. Mathia tells me training for employees and transportation providers is ongoing. Here are a couple other things. Recently, MTM created an advisory committee that includes members who voiced concerns. The company also set up portals for medical facilities to see scheduled trips. And MTM plans to have 100% of transportation providers using real-time GPS tracking by April 1st. MTM's contract with Rhode Island is worth up to $115 million for three and a half years. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.